Welcome back, everybody, to Book. Look, there I am. Wait, th there, there I am. Welcome back to Book, everyone. So we're gonna be fighting the pillars today, and then we're gonna be fighting where the hell's on the guardian. I want to do Etheria, but I don't understand what Etheria is. To be 100% honest, I've heard that it does some crazy things, so that's why we will uh, do it next episode. But sorry if you hear any banging in the background. I have turned my house into a rentable brothel. Okay, I'm lying. There's people doing like construction work, like on an apartment upstairs. So there's a lot of bang. And my favorite thing is about the banging is how they did it at like 10 a.m. in the morning while I was asleep. And I'm, my sleep schedule has been kind of fucked up. Being honest. But yeah, they did it like 10 in the morning when I was asleep. And then I woke up around like 1.30. And then they stopped for a long time. It's like, come on, bro. You stopped when I, when I, <laughs> you stopped when I uh, woke up. But you kept on going when I was asleep. Y'all just love doing it when I was asleep. I should be using uh, bullets here because we do do more damage. Do do. We do more damage with bullets. This is just a proven fact. Which one is it? This one. Oh shit. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's the homing bullet's fault. What the hell? What is that guy doing here? A little worm guy here. Or where the hell is that? I don't know. Their, I don't know their name at all. It's a thing from Calamity. We're just killing everything. It don't matter at this point. I think we're killing everything. This boss fight's feeling like it's going a little longer than it should. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I felt like I did way too much damage for how long that took. Look how many items you dropped. Jesus. Two range weapons, though. I'll, I appreciate that. The Raiju. Ooh. That looks nice. And then the uh, smaller riser. Shrinks enemies as long as the enemy's defense is below five. Cuts their defense down. Okay, interesting. I don't know how this will work. I feel like my game will crash if I use it. Bada boom, bada bing. Pillars have been activated. Now, what we're going to do with the pillars is... Oh, it does actually shrink them. That's pretty insane. I don't know what you would do in the code to do something like this. Do you think they have to make a new sprite for it? I don't know. We're going to just do this up. Yeah, during the last stream, which was yesterday, I think, hopefully I post this the day I'm hoping uh, but yesterday is what we'll say and hopefully this episode goes up today when I plan to post it I got the shroomite armor and I got the helmet for bullets so I should be using bullets a lot more uh, even though what is that noise what is that noise? <laughs> I've never heard that noise before uh, I should be using my left click a lot more than my right click is that is there a mod adding that noise <laughs> i feel like there's some like anti air so that okay but yeah left click i just gotta remember use the left click we specifically buff buff the left click let's put this into action though the raiju now i'll be honest i really don't like fl flamethrowers uh, late game i feel like the hitboxes are not good enough their damage isn't good enough a lot of stuff about them is not good enough. That's really the only reason why I dislike playing those late game. Early game, they're fun to use. They're not bad. But if I were to choose uh, or nitpick something I, that I have a problem with when it comes to playing those, it's definitely hitboxes. The hitboxes feel so tiny. It's just it ain't worth. It ain't worth. We need like flame throws that shoots in shooting like squares and rectangles rectangular giant areas that it covers it might be op yeah but like it's not like the damage is insane like, look how long it takes to kill an enemy that has a decent amount of health or defense it's gonna take a little bit that's why i wished a mod like not enough flamethrowers added in flamethrower armor and stuff stuff that adds uniqueness to flamethrowers you can set bonuses at least you know, imagine like you know how the accessories this is gonna be a weird comparison i'm gonna use tremor you know how the alchemical class in uh, Tremor has those accessories that changes the uh, like alch alchemy flasks, like explosions? One of them like turned them into giant flames, one of them turned them into like skulls. Imagine that, but with like flamethrowers. Like so like my beam from the flamethrower is like giant. Like say this one would shoot out in a cone if I had a certain armor set on. 
or a certain set bonus slash accessory. And then imagine if I had another accessory. That, I don't know, like shot a loop-de-loop -loop out of the flamethrower so it covered more area. See what I'm saying? Oh, look at that loop-de-loop -loop I just did with my mouse right there. But you guys get what I'm saying, all right? I just, I just want more variety when it comes to flamethrower. I feel like flamethrower low-key should be a subclass. Like throwing damage. It should be like a flame damage. Ooh, see? That's why I'm waiting for some mod devs to be like, yo, yo. Gamer just we're gonna hire you to our creative team. Just come up with ideas and we'll do it. I, I, got, I got some banging furry ideas, man. I got some ideas in the head. You guys have heard my ideas in the past. They're good ideas. Am I wrong? Tell me if I'm wrong. Go ahead, leave a comment. Say you're wrong, gamer. It is. And then say fuck you in it too. <laughs> okay, this filler is almost dead though. Which is surprisingly fast. Compared to many other classes where I definitely have trouble taking on killers. But this is what we're going to do. I'm going to put myself through the pain of this. Even though, it, like I said, it's actually not that hard. We're going pretty fast. Um, I'm going to put myself through the pain of killing all the pillars. And then leaving the world. And the reason why we got to do that is specifically... Specifically... Well, actually, no. We might not have to do it. But I might do it anyways. We'll see. But... I need to I need all the fragments to fight the guardian which is the next boss we're gonna find this episode we're only gonna take on two two bosses this episode and I think next episode moon lord etheria because to fight etheria we gotta go to the ethereal dimension I don't know how that works I'll figure it out before we do the episode though but look look right here this is what we need so we need at least three types of fragments and then we gotta turn those three types of fragment into one of these fragments which isn't that bad so uh, I will meet you guys in a second after I fight the rest of the pillars, I guess. I'm going to take on which ones? This one and this one. Nebula and Vortex. And then I got to clear my inventory. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Hopefully we'll be, we'll be fighting the Guardian. I don't know. Hopefully we we'll better. All right. So I picked up something interesting here for my time of killing these pillars. I'll show you in a second. Let me just, let me just kill this thing. Snowball gun's very satisfying to shoot. It makes a really nice noise. Other than that, I don't think I really care about it. But yeah, I picked up this sword right here. Now, this sword is called the Legendary Sarah Sumat Holy Avenger. That's a very long name. I don't know if this... I'm pretty sure it's just a legendary weapon from Alchemist NPCs. Which is interesting. Boost success will be shown after the first swing. 575 plus damage. What? So yeah, I have no idea if this is rare or anything. Maybe I gotta make a new legendary weapon video. You never know. Now I never did one on Calamity. Uh, because Calamity weapons change how you got them. Even though they're the OGs. I don't know. I just felt like once they changed them, I was like, eh, I don't really fuck with how you change how you got them. Because that, I remember, was one of the funnest times I had playing Calamity. Was getting those legendary weapons. Get the feeling of just getting them after farming those bosses for so long felt so good, but now you have to play Revengeance. I don't I don't know how it is anymore. <laughs> a lot of them got nerfed or some shit. But yeah, what are we doing here? We're making like a Will of Fire. So we have to make this Will of Fire. This isn't even for the Guardian, by the way. Or it is for the Guardian, but it's not to fight the Guardian. No, it is. I'm confusing myself. <laughs> we need this. Which doesn't spawn the guardian. But it summons the temple keepers. Which we need to kill the temple keepers. Which the temple keepers are... What, a mini boss? Okay. These guys are hard from what I know though. So I have no idea if this will be a breeze or not. Look at my potions. That's very sus. I don't worship the devil though. Alright, let's do it. Wait, at night. Is it night time? Now it is. Okay. Ready, set, buff, go. I don't know what the hell is going on already. So we got a dragon, and we got an eye. Now these two bosses used to be separate bosses, but then they just kind of put them together. I am taking a lot of damage. And uh, here we are, fighting them. One of them is almost dead. Why am I using this? Kill the eye first. See eye! But yeah, these bosses are now combined together as one. Of being two. Can these enemies not interrupt my boss fight, please? I want to land a hit with this. We're going to land a hit with this. 
that did zero fucking damage. <laughs> okay. Let's just let's use the bow then. Oh, he almost got hit by that star. But yeah, these two bosses were separate. And then they kind of combined them into one. Uh, it took me a while to figure out the information on how to spawn these guys in. But, uh, it's all good. You know, I probably should just look at the mini boss list thing. Or not mini boss, the, the boss list. But I didn't know these guys are considered mini bosses. Because I don't know very many mini bosses that have 200,000 health. But it's fine, I guess. The wiki isn't updated and so is the Discord page isn't updated, I'm pretty sure. Because it said it listed these bosses as two separate spawns, but they spawn together. Uh, the forum page, I'm pretty sure, doesn't have any information either, so it took me a while. It took me a while to figure out how to spawn these guys in. But I was like, okay, if there's no item to spawn in this boss, then what about the item to spawn in the other boss? Because the item to spawn in the dragon, I think, was the Will of Fire. Or the Worm, whatever the hell the name of that boss was. Robber's Sack. Mm. Uh, treasure Bag. Boom. So we need the Dragon Heart and Temple Fragment. That is what we need to craft the Guardian spawn. And then we got this. Doesn't look bad. If those home, that doesn't seem too bad. Press Ability Key will create a shield around the player that pushes enemies and projectiles away. It's not bad. But as you see, we have a sniper's essence in our inventory uh, because of the stream. Go on my Twitch if you want to watch that stream back. Uh, we spent a lot of time getting that. We pretty much spent the whole stream getting that. And, uh, you know, I'm not, I don't really need any other accessories right now. Oh, we'll take Unreal. We'll take Unreal. We'll take Unreal. Let's move this gun up a little bit. I don't really like using the equalizer. It's really loud. <laughs> it hurts my ears. I'd rather just use Book's Bullet Hell. I know we've been using Book's Bullet Hell a lot. Because it's our strongest weapon. And we used a good bit of these weapons already throughout the playthrough. They're outscaled at this point. Like, they don't do as much damage as I would like them to. So we need to do some upgrading before we take on the Moon Lord. So expect probably a live stream for that. Eventually. Ancient Rune, though. Let's take on the Guardian once and for all. And uh, let's end... A big majority of Elements Awoken, at least the hard mode part of Elements Awoken, because I think there's still a handful of bosses left. There's a lot of bosses in Elements Awoken. Elements Awoken, Elements Awoken. I've said it like 30 times. Alright, we're going all the way back to our snow biome. And let's fucking do it. Wait, no, let's do this. There we go. Let's do it. Guardian time, baby. This is the wrong weapon. Is he shaking my screen? I don't know. Let's use this against him. Let's see if this does damage. Ow, dude, you hurt. What the fuck? You know what? <laughs> oh, okay. I heard a little bit more. You know, don't worry about it. We'll just use a sniper. Why haven't we used this? He has to have another face. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it wouldn't be that easy. I knew it wouldn't be that easy. What is the music at? It's very, like, quiet music. Some Starbound type of music right here. We're going to die, by the way. Let that be known. We are almost dead. I don't really want to do all this again. So, I'm not going to fuck around. <laughs> I'm just going to try and kill him. Try and kill him. I can't really see the boss. Are we zoomed in? No, we're not. We're zoomed all the way out. Oof. That may have just ended us right there. The fact that I walked into that. Ooh. Okay. Don't hit me with some bullshit. That look, that look, attack looks like that's some bullshit. So don't hit me with that. I think any hit will kill me at this point. So I really don't want to get hit by anything. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Dude, we're so close. If I die, I'm going to be quite upset. Oh my god. And that's how I fucking die. That's extremely annoying. <laughs> I mean, at least we keep the ancient rune, but that is very annoying. I could not dodge that ability. There was no possible conceivable way, no way in the fucking world I could have dodged that ability because that ability appeared out of thin air right where I was flying and it just hit me. I mean, I would have dodged it. I was dodging a good bit of abilities, but that one just literally spawned on me or spawned exactly where I was going to end up going and it just hit me. Alright, see, this is what I do. Like, 
I've been feeling like I've been killing bosses too fast with Book's bullet hell. But it's like, as soon as I try and use other weapons, you see what happens. I get penalized for it. <laughs> Alright, fuck it. So why do you make your screen shake like that? Alright, you getting it this time, my guy. You getting it this time. You know, I fucked around and I paid for fucking around. But that just shows me. You can't use Boots Bullet Hell enough. You know what I'm saying? I gotta use it some more. Oh my god, I don't know how I dodged that. I barely managed to dodge it. Just switching between the shots. I still feel like the arrows do more damage. Oh, the arrows definitely do more damage. You know what? I might switch our helmet to the arrow version. <laughs> do you think we'd be doing a lot more damage with bullets, but due to Calamity nerfing Chlorophyte bullets, they're very... They don't do as much damage as you'd want them to do. Why does this guy hit so hard? <laughs> I mean, I've been hit twice. I'm almost dead. Three times now. But before that, twice. Oh my god, here we go with this stupid fucking attack that just appears out of nowhere. Get out of here! Why are you not dead? You killed my boy William. <laughs> you killed my boy William the Tavern Keeper. What? Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck is this? I'm, I'm just getting trolled now. There's a dev on the other side playing as the boss. Alright, here we go again. I feel like I need... Okay, we got an idea. Let's do this. What is something that revives me right when I die? Um, No, I'm too lazy to find something. So fuck it, we'll, we'll just go fight him again. I was going to find something, an accessory that revives me. But, fuck it. It's not even like, the first part of the boss fight is extremely easy. Because he literally just sits there and takes it. Second part of the boss fight, a little bit harder because he can kill you in four hits. Let's try again. Let's try again. He like shakes the floor when he hits the floor. Okay. I thought it was like some sort of screen effect he had. But my review on this boss so far, I'm so retarded. My review on this boss fight so far. Um, yeah. <laughs> kind of the first part kind of sucks. The second part he hits extremely hard. But you got he's, you know, a late hard mode boss. But I don't even think the Moon Lord hits this hard unless you get hit by his laser. Maybe I have to nurse cheese, probably. Ow. Ow. I don't even know what the fuck is hitting me. I don't like that. I've died to him when he had like barely any health twice now and both of them i couldn't really control that last kill i could have controlled a little bit more the last death i can control a little bit more but even then it's like i had to predict that he was gonna like dash out of nowhere which i don't think i could have predicted did he even dash or did he teleport i don't know I don't really but he just killed me with that circle that does 600 damage by the way that did what What's going on right now? All right, so I watched that clip back. Literally don't know what hit me. <laughs> I just died. It just had my my entrails were ripped out by the Guardian. I didn't get hit by anything. I watched the footage back. There was nothing there. All the like stuff that was falling down, all the green stuff, that's my chlorophyte arrows coming back. So I'm very confused about what happened right there. I definitely feel like I'm being trolled at this point. I don't know if this is a gimmick with the boss. Hold on, let me try to make the arrow helmet. I feel like the arrow helmet is probably going to be better for us. Because the arrows just hit harder. It's statistics. Arrows hit harder. We're going to make arrows. I don't know if you guys know this. There's a tree that grew right there. Or a mushroom tree, which is very interesting. That it grew in that spot. <laughs> the only spot where it can actually grow. Because I don't know. I don't know. We haven't seen any grow underground. Probably because the underground is not tall enough for stuff to grow. We just talk about how Calamity adds in a helmet for flamethrowers. Let's get a clap for Calamity. One clap. Good job, Calamity. I like that. Boom. Shroomite headgear. Boom. Now, let's talk about Shroomite stuff. My voice sounded really weird right there. Let's talk about Shroomite stuff, okay? So, Shroomite stuff. Is Shroomite stuff... I forgot what I was going to say, if I'm being honest. Is Shroomite stuff considered a part of the pulse stuff? Hold on, I'm trying to find where the fuck are all my mushroom things at? Not mushrooms. 
my health buffing things like the fruit, the life fruit and stuff. Whatever, we can just make new ones. But yeah, is is that stuff considered pulse items? Like I have no idea. I have no idea at all if they're considered part of pulse. Like you know the pulse bow. Let's let's just go here. Let's go here and type in pulse. So we have pulse bow, pulse thrower. I guess there's only one actual pulse item. That's the pulse bow. But is the pulse stuff considered shroomite? Because they look very identical. They look extremely identical. Just being blue. Identical enough to me. But I don't know. You guys just leave a comment about that. Because Sanks, one of the devs for Terraria, uh, she said that, you know, what would you guys add to the... She posted on Twitter, what would you guys add to the inventory of the traveling merchant? And I said... Uh, I replied with more pulse items because I think a pulse item like theme would be really cool to explore all right let's do this though we got our bow ready ready and steady to go hopefully I don't run into him and take dumb damage because we gotta save our potions now if I die again I'm gonna have to go to min max min max game raiders oh my god it's just like a mode I turn on where I get the best gear possible best weapons possible the best loadout possible just to beat a boss i don't like going into that form because that makes it makes me delay having to post this episode because i had to spend like another 30 to an hour so i'm gonna give this one last good old non min max game raiders attempt and if i die what i'm gonna do for min maxing is probably get an accessory that revives me and then probably just up my health with calamity because I talked to the dev and the dev said he's not supposed to be hitting that hard. <laughs> That's what I was told. But uh, let's see here. You know, I, I felt like that last fight was a little bit unlucky. Because we did get hit by that like star of fire that he spawned. And I could not dodge that star of fire. I almost got hit right there because my space ball not responding to me trying to take flight. But uh, hopefully we can do better this time. No, I, for a second, I thought it was a damage cap. This is the reason why he he was insta-killing me. But I fucking doubt that. So we're just hoping to RNG heaven. Praying to RNG heaven that he doesn't spawn that star on me. Okay, good. Good dodge. Thank you, Ninja Dodge, or whatever the hell it's called. Shadow Dodge. Save me from getting hit. I don't know how to activate my... Uh, what is that called? The thing that isn't... It's Page Up. Where's Page Up? The right bar, not the left bar for Calamity. You see what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> the green bar. Stamina? No. What is that called? Adrenaline. I looked away for a second. I'm still alive. I don't know how. We're doing good this time. No one hits. No one hits. Get out of here. When I ain't getting one hit, we doing fine. We doing just fine. Okay. That was a tough boss. I'm not going to lie. It hits extremely hard. I don't know if that's intended or not, but it was a tough boss. Gave me, gave me a ringer. Ran me through the ringer. Ran through me like a train. That sounds gay. Uh, no homo on that one. But there you go. Temple's Wrath. Oh, <laughs> that shit. That shit shoots a little too fast. It hurts my ears. The Ancient Temple Artifact of Fire. 10% increased damage when in hell. Immunity to on fire and burning. Sending rare creatures on fire. In fact, fire on hit. Nice, not too bad. I'm not gonna use it though. Not because it's a bad accessory or anything. It's just I'm not in hell. That would have been a good item for uh, Larkus. But uh, hey, I got a question for you guys too. So this goes along with the the pulse and shroomite stuff. It's not really a question, but I'm gonna be making a uh, family tree and then eventually make a video of all the lore of the orcs and put them into one. All the current lore of the orcs. Put it into one video and stuff like that so you guys know a story. But that's going to take a while. So we'll see how that works out. That honestly might take forever. Because I got to go through all the videos. This thing, this thing shooting so fast it doesn't even make a noise anymore. <laughs> Can you hear the noise? It's so like sudden. Or not sudden. It's so quiet. Subtle is the word I meant to say. Not sudden. Let's fight a boss with this. Real quick. Just one boss. Cry Cryogen it is. And then we're going to end the episode off. Yeah, shout out to the Elements Awoken guys. This boss is pretty cool. 
honestly, Elements Awoken might be my next mod review, next big mod review. But I think I'm gonna do a little mod review in between, just to you know, spice it up, spice it up a little bit. Where the fuck is where you at, Crowder? Come get some of this. Come get some of this. And we got the arrow helmet on. Oh my god. It's frozen for a second right there. Get the come back down, please. Get the hell out of here. That's light work. Clam D's scared after that. They're shaking. They're literally shaking right now. After I slaughtered Cryogen so quickly. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna end off this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we didn't have to go min-max game raiders. But yeah, catch my stream. I should be streaming later today. Or streaming today. I'll see, I'll see, y'all, I'll see y'all next time. Hey, yo, what's up, everyone? So, I do have a Twitch where I live stream a bunch of content. I do a lot of viewer games. I stream a lot of Terraria. And obviously, the stream series, they start on Twitch and then they eventually end up YouTube. So, make sure to check that out. Link will be in description. It will also be right here on the screen. Uh, and I also have a Twitter and a discord check the description those are usually at the bottom of the description twitter and discord is where i notify people that i'm streaming and i also give you know updates or stuff like when mod reviews are going to come out or you know why there's no video today or something like that but yeah thank you guys for watching peace out pp out